having to give up a relationship that we used to consider everything is not easy. I did fall into despair, but I finally got over it and love myself even more. Please listen to my confidence and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm Flora, born and raised in beautiful America. I have a good look and an attractive physique. I'm always the focal point of every crowd. Therefore, I am noticed and courted by many male friends. Flora, do you want to be my lover? I was fed up with those flowery confessions. I had always longed for beautiful love, but had not yet found the right partner. He was Aiden, my classmate. I didn't understand how hurried he was when he ran into me, tossing my pile of documents to splash. Aiden didn't even bother to stop picking them up for me, let alone apologize. It was so impolite. That was my first impression of Aiden. In addition, I found Aiden taciturn, quiet and unapproachable. However, I had a different view of Aiden when I caught him helping a baby who had fallen off the road. Aiden's rare smile made me unforgettable, just as the sun shone. I started noticing Aiden and spotted him peeking at me regularly. There was one time our gazes met. Aiden was confused and quickly turned his face to look the other way. Aiden, why do you keep staring at me? I... I don't... Don't deny it. I saw it all. Look, your face is all red. I have an urgent matter. I have to go now. It was interesting, too. For the first time, a guy was embarrassed to talk to me like that. Aiden didn't go to class that day. I didn't know what had happened. During class, I occasionally look at Aiden's seat. There was a strange feeling of emptiness in me that I couldn't explain. Aiden returned to the class with his arm plaster. Aiden said it was because he fell, but through some friends. I learned that it was caused by his father's beating. People said that Aiden's father was an irresponsible man who was often drunk and beat his wife and children. When I knew that, I felt more sorry for Aiden. I took the initiative to talk to Aiden. Our relationship gradually became close and didn't actually know when we became a couple without any confession. Our dates were simply studying together, walking the park and splitting the cake in half. But it was really the best time of my life. The incident happened when we were 18. Aiden's parents divorced. Aiden came to the city alone, working and studying at the same time to earn money to pursue his dream of becoming an architect. I studied pedagogy, so we started a long-distance relationship. My schedule wasn't too hectic. Aiden, meanwhile, had no time to rest. I understood and sympathized with that, so I never asked for anything from Aiden. On the weekends, I took a bus and traveled 186 miles to see Aiden. Seeing Aiden thinner and eating unevenly, I felt so bad. Aiden only had quick meals to save money, but for me, Aiden didn't spare anything. Knowing that I liked milk tea and cakes, he often bought them for me. On holidays or birthdays, Aiden always arranged the time to take me out. Even if small gifts and flowers were not worth much, I still appreciated them. Time seemed to pass faster when we were together. Flora, you're so stupid. Why are there a lot of handsome and wealthy men pursue you? But you all refuse? Plunging head first into that poor Aiden. That's right. You should think again. You've suffered so much, don't you see? You deserve more than that. I just <laughs> laughed and avoided what they said. I tried to contact Aiden these days, but I couldn't. I was so worried that I had to find Aiden. So strange, Aiden doesn't go to work today, but why can't I call him? I was about to call Aiden when I saw a pair of high heels in the doorway next to his shoes. The door was half closed. Feelings of insecurity invaded my mind and body. Through the slit, I saw Aiden cuddling with a girl. Wait, that was Jenna. My classmate, she was quite close to me. My whole body trembled. I couldn't take any more moments. I pushed the door open and the two of them looked at me in horror. I ran over angrily giving Aiden a slap. That's fine if you see it. I don't want to cheat on you anymore. Jenna and I are in love. 
I don't love you anymore. What? Love? So ridiculous. You're joking, aren't you? No, it's true. How long? Just over a month. One month? You've been cheating on me for a month? It's only been a month, and you two are so intimate. Whereas we've known each other for over five years. Say something. I'm sorry. How could Aiden treat me like that? I began to use alcohol, which helped me get drunk and relieve my sadness. To fill the void in my heart, I accepted dating people I had no feelings for. One after the other, but no one had made me as happy as when I was with Aiden. Flora, you look bad. Can you stop being like that? I... I feel sorry. Sorry? You robbed my lover. And now you're feeling sorry? Ridiculous. You have to be happy, don't you, Jenna? You should calmly listen to me. It's not like what you saw. It was Aiden who asked me to perform that play. Aiden says he doesn't deserve your love. He doesn't want to let you suffer anymore. What? Seeing you suffer like this, I feel extremely uneasy. Aiden must now be miserable too. I hurried over to Aiden's inn. The door was locked. I waited outside of the door. It wasn't until nightfall that Aiden returned. The happier he was, the colder he was. You're home? I've been waiting for you for three hours. What are you coming here? I'm a traitor, don't you see? Jenna's already told me everything. Stop hiding your feelings. I know, it's because you love me. Stop reasoning. I've run out of feelings for you. It's dark and going to rain. You should go home. Aiden threw my hand away, walked into the room, and slammed the door coldly. My chest ached. I cried, and God cried with me. I sat stubbornly on grasping knees in front of the door. Click. The door opened. Why are you so obstinate, Flora? I burst into tears like a child, hugging Aiden. Come in and change your clothes. You'll be sick. Is what Jenna said true? If so, you're really obnoxious. I was really miserable, you know that? But I feel that I'm not strong enough to pursue this love. I don't deserve your love. Aiden, look at me. Do you love me? You just have to answer yes or no. I held my breath while waiting for Aiden's answer. Yes. Just waiting for that, I hugged Aiden and said, I just need that. I've never found myself disadvantaged when loving you. After the rain came the sun. A dream wedding took place just in time for a 10th anniversary of love. The moment I wore a gorgeous wedding dress and held my beloved's hand in the hall was amazing. Everyone looked at us with admiration. Incessant applause was accompanied by beautiful blessings. <gasps> However, our happiness didn't last long. Aiden and, I, Aiden and I gradually had disagreements and arguments over seemingly simple things. Mm -hmm. Aiden, why do you keep throwing your clothes around? I'll clean up later. Therefore, Aiden's clothes were strewn on the bed and on the sofa. If I hadn't cleaned, they would have just stayed there. I told Aiden many times, but he didn't care. Instead, he blamed me. It's just a shirt. You're so bothersome. Aiden grew increasingly cold to me. He often went out drinking, hung out with friends, and stayed late at night. Are you going home late today? Yes, I'm busy. I have some unscheduled work. You should eat and sleep first. Don't wait for me. I looked at the food that had cooled, and my heart could not help but feel sorry. Aiden left the house early in the morning and returned home late at night. Slowly, it was as if we were two strangers living together. Let's go eat at a restaurant today. By the way, I will take you shopping. I've got an appointment with friends. You can go eat alone. You don't care about me these days. Don't act like a child. Today, Aiden invited his hey, friends hey. to our house. I was happy to welcome everyone. Aiden was cheerful to talk to them, which was different from every day. No one realized that our relationship was slowly cracking. You two look so happy together. So admirable. Your wife is very attractive. You're blessed to marry a wife like that, Aiden. Sitting next to Aiden, I just smiled sheepishly. Well, let's go to part two. Going to karaoke, huh? Yes, let's go. Should we join hands to clean up? There's no need. It's quite late. Let my wife clean up. You stay home to clean up, okay, Flora? At Aiden's suggestion, I nodded forcefully. Mm -hmm. The crowd left, leaving me with a sprawling pile of dishes. I felt sad. After all, what was I to Aiden? Huh?
I struggle to clean up and wash the dishes. Ah! I lick at my fingers, stained with red blood, and my heart ache. Despite the tears in my eyes, I could only smile. I've told you so many times that do not put knives in the sink. My finger is cut. You see that? Why don't you be careful? It's not my fault. If it's not your fault, then my fault? Who else? You! You're so intolerable! I felt depressed. Sometimes, I wanted to stop this marriage, but couldn't. You're home? Why haven't you slept yet? It's almost 12 o'clock. You still know that it's almost 12 o'clock. Do you remember what day it is today? What day? One year wedding anniversary. Really? I didn't notice. Why are you treating me like that? Did I do something wrong? Say something. Why are you overdoing it? A year of marriage is nothing to celebrate. Then what am I to you? You're so pesky. I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. I noticed that Aiden often texted and laughed to himself. Sometimes, he even sat for an hour in the bathroom. I listened. Aiden was laughing with someone. I began to doubt. It's late. Where are you going? It's too stuffy at home. I'm going for a walk. I secretly followed Aiden to a bar near my house. I went crazy when I saw him kissing a girl. I rushed over, took the champagne glass, and threw it on their faces. What the hell are you doing? Jenna? Why is it you? You to keep stabbing me in the back again and again. What the heck is this? Say something. Looking at Jenna's pitiful expression, I went crazy. I dove in and snatched her hair. Jenna, are you still human? This is my husband. It's your friend's husband. So fucking disgusting. Aiden shielded Jenna with his torso. He even slapped me. Stop it, Flora. You dare hit me? You have no rights to do that. Calm down. You should go home. We'll talk about it later. People are looking. What's wrong with being looked at? Adulterous man like you but still feel ashamed, huh? If you're not ashamed, I'll tell you straight. I don't love you anymore. So annoying. The one I love is Jenna. You stay there. Aiden. Aiden! I collapsed, even though everyone was pointing and talking about me. After that, there was no day that I didn't drink. I ignored the advice of my parents and friends. A week later, I had a stomach hemorrhage, which required hospitalization. The whole time I was at the hospital, my mother was with me. I've just cooked porridge. You should eat it right away. You look so emaciated. If you continue being like this, I'll be heartbroken. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm wrong, Mom. I hugged her and cried. Over those years, I'd been chasing love and forgetting about my family, where there were people who loved me unconditionally, willing to ignore any of my mistakes. Since then, <laughs> I've spent more time with myself and my parents. I went to the gym regularly and started new relationships. I traveled on my own and enjoyed delicious food. I love roses and I will buy flowers for myself, whether it's a holiday or not. Things are getting better. I realize that life is beautiful when I can face and love my failures.